Hi, I'm Tim from Bike Friday, and I'm going to show you how to put a family tandem into a suitcase and then also take it back out. And uh, so, what we have here is two cases behind me and the whole bike, and uh, we can just get started. In the suitcase packing material kit that comes with the cases, there's a little blue bag like this that has um, tools in it. And uh, there's a blue multi-tool that's got a whole bunch of ballon wrenches on it. This will do most of the work for us. So I'm going to start off by taking off the, um, the seats and the seat posts. So we've got the seats and seat posts come off the stoker. And we have a nice yellow felt bag here to put on the seat post. And you'll see these bags will be labeled with seat post or whatever, or whatever they're for. And then we've got a nice big blue bag that goes over the saddle itself to keep it from getting cut up and scratched up during transit. This is a nice big saddle. So Captain seat post can come off. Okay, I misplaced the wrench there for a second. So you loosen that Allen wrench. And then this captain seat post also has a stoker bars, and we want to take these off as well so that it'll pack down flat. We just use a different size Allen wrench, but once again, just loosen the two bolts and good to go. This also has a seat post bag. And a big blue bag to cover the saddle. And next off, we can go after the pedals and Pedals are threaded, uh, left hand threaded on the left side and right on the right. So this side is a right hand thread, so it'll turn counterclockwise to loosen it. And then this opposite side over here is the left side of the bike, so it'll turn clockwise to loosen it. And the pedals have their own blue bag that says pedals on it, light blue, and they go right in there, keep them from rattling around in the case. Do the same thing with stoker pedals on the right side, so we'll go counterclockwise to loosen the pedal. Left side will go clockwise to loosen the pedal. And with those off, put them also in the other. Pedal bag, light blue pedal bag. You see right here. And 
I'm putting the parts into one of the cases. I might move them around later, but it's a good way to keep track of things. And now, we took the seat posts and seats out. Now that you have these lower tubes called the seat masts, these also come out. Right side wrench on this. And these can also go in slightly larger yellow bags. Keep the paint looking nice. And also, there will be a little bit of grease on, on these because of where they go into the frame, so keeping them in the bag keeps the grease from getting spread around. these parts in the back. So now we got it. We worked pretty well on the way here. But if it's still sitting up, we can um, put some protective materials on. The crank sets get these blue vinyl covers and they'll be labeled you know, front left, front right. And they've got little holes cut in them that allow them to hook over the cranks. Just sort of sit on there. These just keep your crank arms from getting scratched up or keep the crank arms from scratching anything. Now some of the bikes, like this one, has an electric assist kit on it, and uh, if, if your bike doesn't have that, you don't have to worry about this step, but at this point we can turn the key here and take this battery off to get it to help us make the pack and job a little easier. And that can be put aside. Um, you can't travel with that battery, but uh, like by, by air, but you might want to, you know, so if you're going by air, if you have that kind of battery, um, you'd have to not, a, not put that in the case, but there are some kind of battery kits that you could travel by air with. And then there's a quick you know, disconnect there for the electric that disconnects that. And uh, so the next step here will be to take off the stem riser and take this tandem bars also off the stem. Start with the bars. And depending on what kind of stem you have, it might be different, but almost all of these are a four bolt clamp. And if you have splittable bars, you can just pull them apart. This, these are not splittable in this case, so I have to remove the face plate from the stem to separate the bars. this face plate with those four bolts back on here loosely just so nothing gets lost. Put everything together. Be careful when you're doing this you don't cross thread. Get you going nice and easy until they get tight. And then the stem riser comes off on this lower bolt here. 
although your bike may have a quick release skewer, depending on what you requested. This one has an Allen wrench, so we'll just have to use the wrench. The stem riser pops off of here, and it has a red bag it can go in. Looks like this. You're a star. We've got some more packing George, supplies here. Packing station, please. We've got these blue triangular bags that can go over your brake levers. Just keeps them looking nice. Then um, at this point, we can take the front wheel off, and the brake has a, a you know, depending on what kind of brakes you have, you might have disc brakes, but with these cantilevers, you have to hook, o o open them, and there's a special instruction to show you how to do that if you're not familiar with it. And the front wheel uses a quick release, and you back that off a little bit, and the front wheel will pop out. And uh, up to this point, we've had the kickstand holding the bike up. Now with the front wheel off, the kickstand doesn't work anymore, so we can just set the bike on its front forks and still have it pull itself up. The front wheel quick release actually comes out at this point. This will make the wheel narrower so it'll fit in the case better. And also, we're going to use this quick release to. Uh, provide a brace for the front fork. There's a little white PVC tube in your packing supplies. Somewhere in here. Here it is. It says fork on it. And uh, you can just run the skewer, take the, the, the adjuster nut off, and run the skewer through this. I'll just use a quick release skewer to hold this in. This can go in the fork blades, and it just keeps the forks from potentially getting crushed together when there's no wheel in there. And this can just be snugged down enough to keep it from falling out. And uh, at this point, I like to put the brakes back together just to keep the cable, keep some tension on the cable and just packs it easier. And uh, there is a gray felt bag for the front fork. Keep it looking nice. So you can put that on at this point. Sort of work it up over the brake arms. And it's a bit longer than it needs to be, so you don't really have to pull it all the way up. But it doesn't hurt. So now we've got most of the disassembly done that we're going to need going forward. So at this point, the frame can be broken into its front half and its back half. And the connector tubes. So I'm going to turn this around just to show what I'm doing better. And there are some connector, these, there's cables that go from the front to the back for your shifters. I'm going to turn the shifter levers so this will be in the most cable release position, which is first gear on the, for the front shifter and eighth gear for the back. So that just takes tension off these cables. And then these cables have 
connectors that you just twist to uh, take apart. There's three of them on this bike, and they're they've got some color coded dots on them, so you can tell them apart later on. You put them back together. Okay, so this bike, we've got some electrical wiring. And this pulls apart. So if you have an electric assist kit, there may be a sensor on the back wheel, and this wire connects to the front to the back. And, uh, okay, they just when they put this together, they put one too many zip ties on there. So that now the cables are disconnected from the front and the back, and uh, these front cables are in their little holders, and these can just come out like this, and they're still connected together by this tie, cable tie. So now the cables is connected, we can actually unbolt the frame and take it apart. So when you look at this, you'll see that there's brackets. We call overclap brackets. So these are oversized pieces of tubing that have three bolts, and these actually connect front and back of the frame together. There's one at the top rear, and there's one on the front lower um, tube. And you can just start loosening those bolts I go back and forth instead of loosening one of them all the way, kind of loosen a little bit at a time and sequence. Once these are loose, this bracket can turn now. We'll do the same thing with the lower front bracket. about a half turn at a time until they start coming loose. And then the other two connecting joints just have a single bolt. Loosen these. Now you can slide these brackets so that the tube disconnects on the front side there, and then pull the tube out from the back of the socket, and you end up with the connecting tube. Same thing on the top. You can slide the bracket out of the way. It will disconnect, and then you can pull the upper tube out of its front socket. And now the only thing holding the bike together is the timing chain easily will come off. And so now the bike front and half have been separated. So they can go into the, into the two cases. The um, timing chain also has a blue bag. Looks just like the pedal bags. And it should say timing chain on it. And the bag can just go in there. The, the chain can go in that bag. Keep it rattling around. And so at this point, there's also a few other protective materials available. Um, there's nice long blue bags for these connecting tubes. And these are sort of have an open slot to them, so it makes it easier to, to fit items into them. In this case, it's got a the battery pack is going to make it a little more difficult than usual to completely cover it, but it should still do a pretty good job. Yeah, that works good. Cover most of that paint. And there are some black Velcro straps that you can use to hold this in place.
put a strap on this one. And there's also some plastic tubes that go over the, uh, the chain stays on the back here. And these are just, once again, to keep the paint looking nice while the bike is in the case. Ready to snap around the tubes. And they're labeled accordingly. Which tube they go on. So now we can basically put the front half of the, the back half of the bike, which I have here, into one case. I'm going to put it in this one. It doesn't really matter which one. Okay. So just slide in here. Um, in the case of this bike having a pretty fat tire, I, I might need to deflate the tire, but another thing I could do, which is probably better, is just to um, let the rear wheel come out of the dropout. So I'm going to loosen the rear axle quick release and push the wheel out so it can slide forward a little bit. It doesn't take much. And then the bike will, it'll, everything will fit in the case nicely. So now we've got the back half of the bike and its rear wheel in, in, in this case. There's a crush protector with its two black flanges that goes in here. It should go right towards the middle and it runs between the spokes and this just provides a platform in case anything tries to crush the case it won't press against the bike. Um, there's plenty of extra room in there so we can put like these connector tubes top here and uh, some of these other parts that we put, um, put the stoker handlebars in here and there's lots of space. These tandems are actually pretty easy to pack. I'll put the stoker seat in here because um, you're only having to put half a bike in each case and you got two cases. So that means there's only one of the biggest pieces is the wheel. There's only one per case. And, uh, so that seat. So this actually, the seat can slide underneath here. And these straps come with a case. You can use these to sort of hold everything in place by just pulling them over. Test close just to see if everything is fitting nicely. In this case, it's still got plenty of room. So that's going in there nicely. And um, we've got plenty of room for the battery. In this case, this bike has a big bottle battery. Again, you couldn't actually use this with airline travel as a bottle battery, but if you're just wanting to transport the bike for your own purposes, this battery can fit in here. It's much more important. I want to get this, make sure that crush protector is sitting up straight so that when the case closes on it, it's working. I can feel that. Closing the lid, sometimes you have to watch the edges of the case, make sure everything's lining up correctly.
and then the back end of the bike can go in the other case, or in this case, the front end of the bike. chains and pedals, you can put the tools back in their tool kit. This thing rolls up and folds over nicely. It's got a little shoelace to tie it shut so it doesn't come open. the middle. Whoops. It's got two black flanges. You put the first flange down and the front wheel. The flange crush protector uh, act a uh, tube here typically goes right through the spokes. And then, um, all these other small parts. We've got lots of places to go in here. Straps to sort of hold everything down. Just kind of gently close it, make sure you're not pinching anything that's stuck out. In this case, it looks like I got a front wheel pushing on the case there. edges. And close the buckles. And it's ready to travel now. So, pack it on a airline or put it in your car.